Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be learning how to register for our AWS account so we can start building awesome applications in it. To register, open Google and let's type in AWS Management Console and you should get the AWS Management Console, click it. In the upper right hand corner, we have the option to sign in. Since I've been on this page before, I can either log back in. So down here, you should see the option, create a new account, select it. And here we are just going to enter our information. So make sure you have your email ready, enter your email, create a password and enter just a name for your account. And this name, it doesn't have to be um, any specific name, just create a name for your account. So I'm going to enter this information and continue. So after entering your email and your password, it should bring you to this page. On this page, you have the option to select between a professional and a personal account. Since we are going to be using this account to learn about AWS, I'll select the personal and enter your phone number and the country you're in. Then you also enter some personal information in here. I am going to enter my address and I'll create create account and continue. Once you are done filling the information, check this box and click create account and continue. And it will bring you to this page. On this page, we want to enter our credit card information. And don't worry, when you put your card information in here, they are not going to charge you for the first time. This is just for them to have um, a payment method on record. So when you start using other services where there are charges involved, then they will charge you to your card. And this account we are starting is a free account and for like a year you get different type of benefits from this account so don't worry about incurring any charge with the things we are going to be doing and things we are going to be learning we're barely going to be incurring any charge so i wouldn't worry about it and just put your card information in here and for the billing my billing address is the same address as my card so i'm going to check the first option and you also have the option to create an extra address click verify and add and it is going to bring you to this page on this page we are just selecting how we want to verify our account so you have the option to either have aws send you a text or they can call you i'm going to select the text option i'll select my country from the drop down and i'll add my phone number next um, for the security check just enter these numbers you see down here and just in case if you can't read it, you can always refresh it here to get a new set of number or you can have it read the number to you so you can type it down. And I'll click send SMS and it's going to bring you to this page. And now I will check my phone for that SMS code. As you can see, the SMS code looks something like this. And my SMS code is 8545 and I'm going to enter it in here and click verify code and my identity has been verified successfully and click continue on this page you would choose which type of account you want like we said we will start with the free account because most of the things we are going to be doing is going to be in the free tier so again which is why i said when you enter your credit card information don't worry about it and so select the free on this page you can personalize your experience my role is I'm going to just select a student and your interest is um, let's just select website and apps and click submit. So it says thank you. And now you can try logging in. So signing into the console because I've logged in before and I have other accounts. So um, just to refresh it, I will click this sign in using root user email. So it gives me this option and in here, enter the email that you use to register for your account. I'm going to enter my email, click next, and I'm going to enter my password. And congratulations, you now have a new AWS account. In the next tutorial, we are going to be laying up how to set up different things in our account for the first time. Then once we have done that, then we'll start building different applications in it and learning about different services on AWS. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and any suggestion if there's any other way that I could have done things better, please let me know. And thank you, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Peace.